What's up, everybody? It's your boy Big Poppy JT, and I'm back at you guys with another video. Before I begin, make sure to like the video and subscribe. Upload NFL videos, college football videos, and Alliance of American football videos. Now let's get into it. My week three Alliance of American football power rankings. Now this is going into week three after the results of week two. I have my power rankings. Now my power rankings. Um, it was a little bit of discussion about them, not really a lot. It was just flipping a few teams around, just flipping the spots. But this week, it really shouldn't be no debate about what teams are which. This is pretty much common sense, basically. Maybe you can debate a few of them, but most of these are no brainers. So let's do it. So we go from the worst team to the best team. So the worst team in the lines of an American football is the Atlanta Legends. I mean, these guys just cannot muster no offense at all. They only score 12 points. They lost to the San Diego Fleet. They had a lead. They choked it. They lost. They're the worst team in the lines of American football as of week three. Now at number seven, we have the Memphis Express. And the Memphis Express, believe it or not, actually had the chance to win this game. They had a lead, a big lead. I think they were up by like two scores and then somehow found a way to lose. They lost to the Arizona Hot Shots 2018. Christian Hackenberg needs to be benched. He's not good at all. Needs a lot of improvement. And I think he's a problem. I think he's the reason why the Memphis Express keep on losing. So they're at number seven. At number six, we have the Salt Lake Stallions. Now, the Salt Lake Stallions, a lot of people felt they should be number four ahead of the San Antonio Commanders. Instead, they dropped down from five to six because they are on two. And they lost to the Birmingham Iron because of themselves. They made the mistakes. They had the chance to win that game. They missed the field goal. They fumbled early on in the game. And they never fumbled early on in that game. They most likely would have had got an easy field goal out of that. So that would have been three points right there. And then if they never had the false start on the on one field goal attempt, he made it, but they had a false start. So they had to move it on back. And then when they moved it on back, he ended up missing that. So they had a chance to win that game. They're at number six. I still don't know how they are owing to. They're way too talented to be owing to. I think they need to go back with Josh, Josh Woodrum. I think he gives them the best chance to win. I don't know why they made the quarterback change. I don't think Josh Woodrum was bad. So at number five, we have the San Diego Fleet. Now the San Diego Fleet, I had them at number six last week. They are coming off of an impressive win against the Atlanta Legends, even though I don't really know how much credibility you get for beating the Atlanta Legends with how terrible they are on offense. But hey, they won. They're one and one. They're at number five right now. At number four, I have the San Antonio Commanders. Now, even though they lost to the Orlando Apollos, it was a close game. They only lost by eight points. Um, That game was was very very tight what lost the game was that pit six by logan woodside that's really what lost the game and even then they still had a chance to win the game the orlando apollos had that goal line stance or red zone stance so i had them at number four i still believe they're one of the best four teams in the alliance of american football at number three i have the birmingham iron now the birmingham iron have yet to play on the road I'm interested to see how they do playing against the Atlanta Legends, even though we know the Atlanta Legends are terrible. Um, the Birmingham Iron, these guys don't really muster a lot. They score points, but they can score a lot more points. I feel they just do enough. They just do enough on offense to make it through. And they're probably going to do enough to make it through next week when they play the Atlanta Legends. So I have them at number three. They're the third best team in the Alliance of American football. They have a very, very good defense and they're number three. So at number two, everybody probably knows the Arizona hot shots, the Arizona hot shots. I wanted to put them at number one, but I mean, when you barely edge out Memphis, I know it was on the road, but I mean, it's Memphis. You beat them by two points with Christian Hackenberg at quarterback. I mean, I expected this to be a bloodbath. I expected it to be a, a huge blowout. 
but instead they narrowly escape defeat from the Memphis Express who have been the meme of the week so I had them at number two um, I'm interested to see what they do next week next week they play the Salt Lake Stallions again so I'm interested to see if they're able to pull out that win and at number one we already know who's at number one the Orlando Apollos I mean it doesn't get no better than how they beat the San Antonio Commanders they are the best team in the Alliance of American football they have the best offense in the Alliance of American football when this offense gets going it really gets going they scored 20 straight points um the last point uh the last the third touchdown they scored was off of a pit six so this team is very very talented i believe they are the most talented team in the alliance of american football punch their ticket into the championship right now i'm just playing a little bit still a little bit too early but this is a really really good team i think as of right now they are the best team in the alliance of american football and they're most likely going to go three and no next week because they play lord and behold the memphis express so this is my week three power rankings going into week three after the results of week